right. So now we're going to move on to the next project. This is called Sherapy, and it's uh, created by a team in Vietnam. And so it's also focused on mental health. And we're going to be joined by our next Google guest, Kat Kwan, from the Android team. So let's check out their demo. Sherapy greets its users with a light green interface, which is proved to be one of the most comforting colors that can diffuse anxiety and help us stay calm and refreshed. After logging in and having a little update about their current mood, users will be directed to Sherapy homepage. Here, they can choose the support group that suits their needs in two ways, by topic and by date. With the first way, after choosing the topic of interest, Users will see support group sessions related to that topic on different days. In contrast, in the calendar section, users can check to see which support groups take place on a particular day. All information in both ways includes the topic's name, the date and time of a meeting, and the number of slots registered. Users can also click on the heart in the corner to turn this information to favorites if they are unsure about participation. In the activity section, we have three types in turn showing all support groups they have joined, are joining, and are about to join in a chronological order. Before the meeting takes place 10 minutes, this ongoing tab will appear a page leading to the virtual meeting room using Google Meet and automatically switch to the history section after the meeting is completed. Besides the online support groups, Sherapy's community is created in the form of one-way communication to help users improve their mood even better. Sherapy's community is a place to share the user's struggles and fears, but not interact or listen to comments or create controversy. After express their feelings, it allows users to customize their privacy preference, private or public. If users choose private, only they can see their post like an online journal. Meanwhile, by setting it public, users can not only freely release their emotions, but also receive sympathy through support or appreciate replying instead of comments, which help users avoid being hurt or offended by negative opinions. Hi, Team Sherapy. It's good to see Hello. you. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Yeah, we are doing great. Great. Yeah, we're great. Good, good. I'm so happy to see you. I know you're, you're calling in from Vietnam. And uh, we also have uh, Kat Kwan from the Android team. It's good to see you, Kat. Hey, Erica. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, Great. Nice to We're so happy to have you here. Yeah, I would love for you to introduce yourself. And I know you took a deeper look at the, the next couple projects. would love to hear what, you, what questions you have. Sure. So I'm Kat Kwan. I'm a developer advocate on the Android team, and I really loved your app. Congratulations for being one of the winning teams. I really felt, I really appreciated how much thought you put into your app. It just sounded like in terms of all the design decisions and thinking about how users would feel as they use their app. I just felt like um, you did a really good job with that. Um, so I wanted to ask you, you know, you tackled a big challenge, mental health. How do you feel like like this problem is best solved through a mobile app? Um, hi, I'm Kang, okay. and, and I will answer your questions. Sure. So uh, there are two main reasons that we want to build a mobile app. The first one is uh, nowadays mobile phones have become an essential part of our life. Therefore, it's easy for everyone to approach our solutions. Secondly, as an online support group app, Shadowbee can solve the geographic distance problems and save the cost of traditional offline meeting. Uh, that's uh, sound. Thank you. That's awesome. That's exactly why I also feel like it would be a great uh, solution for as a mobile app. I'd love to hear also more about the process of building the app. Was there a certain challenging technical decision that you had to come across? And like, what were some of the trade-offs you had to decide between? Okay, so uh, the most challenging one must be choosing the backend for our application. And Firebase is our, is our best choice. Uh, which can fit our child development process for fast implementation and develop it and development and also deployment. It acts as a means to handle our our, our application uh, 
storage database and also authentication because Firebase is being our application backend. There are some even ribbon functions that cannot fully support for this platform. And we think this is the more trade of things we suffer when developing our application. We also think about cloud function to handle these problems in the near future. Yeah, that's that all. Sounds, that sounds great. And it sounds like you made a great decision. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's great. So we'd love to, to bring in a, a question from the live chat and see if anyone has a question for your team. And so we're going to be pulling that question in as soon as we have one. While we're waiting, oh, go for it. Great. So how much time did this solution take, including the process of learning, planning, and development? OK, so um, uh, <laughs> yeah, for Okay. Uh, our, when we received the solution challenge, like uh, kick off in our university, well, we just had approximately like a month to build our application. So it is a really challenging one to finish our application and also deploy it in just a month. And that is the reason why I explained to you that we have to use like something fast and something convenient to build up the applications as Firebase or even an Android development. Wow, that's impressive to do that, all that in one month. Yes. yes. Yeah, this is a really fantastic uh, experience that we had. And also in that one month, we have uh, experienced something new, something that we haven't done before, and we can know ourselves better. Uh, we can know what we can do and how far we can go. Absolutely. It sounds like a great learning experience in terms of like your strengths and pushing, pushing your bounds. Yes. yes. Great. Thanks for sharing. I think we have time for one more question. If, if Kat, if you want to ask one more. Sure. Um, I'm curious to know what your feedback has been from users. Was oh, there sorry, any... can you repeat the question? Oh, sure. Um, I'm just curious to know if, if, if there was any particular feedback from users that you found to be helpful. Uh, yeah, we actually bring the solution to um, multiple uh, university in our city, um, what, and we have received feedback such as uh, we can add some like uh, music that relaxing and stress relief, and we can bring up some articles that related to mental health to educate and uh, educate people, especially young people, about mental health, like how to uh, reduce stress. And I think that is really useful for us to uh, further develop the uh, the application in the future. That's awesome. Yeah, users are the best way to figure out what features to add next. Yeah, definitely. It's a key part of the process. So thank you so much for, for joining thank us. We you. really enjoyed hearing about your project. And thank you, Kat, for, for being here with us. So thanks so much. And we're really excited to see what comes next on your journey. So thanks, team. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.